Hey y'all, what's up? Um, right now I'm going to talk about several things. One thing I want to talk about is, you know, just different things in the world that's going on. Like on Forbes and all that. You know, just things of my interest. I'm here to, you know, basically give you what's good on the, you know, the internet. You know, uh, this going to be in the bloopers. Uh, you know, sometimes comedy, um, you know, what else am I going to give y'all? Financial tips, because I'm going to be working on it myself. I'm starting my job tomorrow. Well, my new one. Long story, but my old one. But, um, yeah, and I'm very happy with this channel because I'm seeing what I can do and put in and what my analytics analytics are for this channel you know and just being able to you know be myself and not have to front in front of anybody like I'm somebody important because believe me we ain't important I mean look at my big ass forehead is that important no but still you know what I mean it's all in HD and shit but dog but yeah I'm ready to um get this channel popping and get it going so we can get it growing you know and that's what's up. I mean, I I don't really do nothing else other than going to work, home, look at stuff on the internet, pay bills, and that's it. But that's another story. Um. So what's popping today? What I want my main talk topic is what I want to talk about. Um. Sorry, y'all. I'm looking down. I'm trying to find my topic, I lost it. It's up under Forbes.com. Finance. I'm up under 30 under 30 because this is what makes me, you know, energetic and makes me want to save money and makes me want to you know, make extra money to save. You get what I'm saying? So let's get right into it. Hold on the page loaded. Loading. Loading. Mm, okay. Let's see who's on a new Forbes 30 up under 30 today. His name is Vlad Tenev. He's 20, 28. He says people perceive investing in the market is risky. The bigger mistake is leaving a lot of money in your savings account. And you know what? I believe that what he says because I can jump right into this topic. This has been on my mind all day. Okay. It's good to have money in your savings account, but you have to know what you're investing for. Basically, once I get everything set up with my new job and everything, I'm investing for my future business and my future, my future, you know, travel plans and all that. Like, well, for right now, my future travel plans slash business my business is not going to be up until 2018 beginning of 2018 or the middle something like that because I have a plans my well it's not really a business I'm going to school for a stage set design because I like you know designing well I want I got into that previously and it's always been a passion of mine since I was little because I've always been into award shows but let me get back to the point I'm going all over the topic um I like stage set design no, what was the topic? Okay, that was the topic. Um, excuse me. I like to, you know, basically get into it by. I look at it this way: what he just said about the worst way of saving money, keeping money in your savings account, and it, that is so true. You have to invest in yourself, but invest in yourself wisely, especially with money, because. You have so many options in this world like for example I'm tired of people making excuses about education people make so much excuses that it's like it really hurts me it irks me a little but now I'm to the point like if you're gonna make an excuse about it just don't talk to me education is free example they just made the GED exams where if you score 145 you automatically pass but if you score like 175 you get free college credit 
up to 10 hours of college credit. It's like three in the other three subjects and one college credit in English or something like that. And me, I'm a good writer. So what I prefer to do is, you know, really focus on the writing part and, you know, study on it and, well, that's what I would do if I were taking my GED exam, but I'm in college, so what I would do is, you know, write and, you know, basically study on my writing and get that in the way, out the way, you know, just take them all, but it's somebody I'm irritated with that, for example, it's so much free money out there and the money that he's and the thing that he's not saying he could chase after thoughts all day long but when it's time to take care of business he can't do it I'm like really you know what I'm talking about one of my shady ass friends but anyway yeah it's like it's always an excuse I'm too old I don't have the money. Um, I work too much. Bitch, they have online college. You can take a community education at online. Sorry if, sorry if the camera's kind of like, uh, not the right, you know, fade or whatever. Not fade, but colors and the background all blurry and all that. I'm using it for my laptop. Sorry, y'all. But, um, what I'm talking about is, like, he always make excuses trying to get out of going to college I'm like you're young you're 25 years old you're young you can go to college and still work at the same time work all that what you want to you know go to class online graduate in 18 to 20 months because I think that's how community college works if you go online but um yeah it's just like I'm basically what it is I'm 25 years old I'm tired of excuses that's what I'm basically tired of. I'm tired of people just trying to run around with all these excuses and then, especially when it comes to finances, talking about some, I need some money today for, you know, to pay this, pay that, pay that. It's like you're a grown ass adult. Hell, I paid my phone bill five months in advance just so I could have a phone turned on five months in advance, you know, just in case a job opportunity comes up. Or something happens, like if I lose my job. You know, just stuff like that, you just have to keep on top of that. And it's like, for example, with these budgeting tips, those are so easy to follow. It's four weeks in a month, sometimes five, and if you get paid on Fridays, sometimes five, just what I mean. And once you get, once you get the basics down, you can go far with it. Like for example, it's four weeks in a month on a Friday. I mean, four Fridays in a month if you get paid on Fridays. And just budget each week on how you're going to spend your money. Don't spend a whole check one week and then work all these hours the next week and still broke after you don't work all them hours. That doesn't make sense. I had somebody do me like that at my old job. And it was irritating to the point where I had to, you know, just leave that person alone because it was bothering me so much where I couldn't focus on my work. You know? And then I always had somebody they could chase the baddest bitches or the baddest females, whatever you want to say. Or yeah, that's one thing that really bothers me about that. But, um, I'm not to my own horn, but I have become more stable with my finances, though. And I've learned how to manage my money better, so. Yeah. And I'm learning to not get myself into more debt. Because that's the worst possible way to live. I'm building my credit, so I don't want to get in debt. And I just want to learn how to, you know, juggle funds. My own funds, basically. Just learn how to use my own funds wisely. So I won't never have to worry about struggling in debt. I pay my phone bill each month. Put money in savings each month. Put money in, um, in my groceries each month. Put got cable bill, you know. Because I'm going to stay with parents and all that. But I still pay bills around here. I'm not some lazy bum who just not wants to work and you know just wants to basically get a free ride ain't nothing free in life and you're gonna have to work for what is basically what I'm trying to say for example I plan on moving in 2017 the beginning like around April or May I'm buying my first house in 2017 and I buy my car at the end of 27, 
16 so everything will be set up and that's why I'm saving now it's January I have 12 months to save everything and buy it all at once you know I won't have to take out loans and all that because I need to have a stable savings account too and that's what that's what I'm getting about what they got said in that you know quote and it makes so much sense and that's what I like about you know finances and all that it inspires me to do more and do better and sorry if I'm talking and rambling but that was one of the main topics today yes yeah, so I'm gonna cut this video short it's only 10 minutes long and that's what's up I right, holla